open borders. Why? I don't think enough facts are being said about that, but take it from an immigrant. I'm one. Then for the first time that I'm here, I'm actually worried that we're about to lose this country. So why is it so critical that you pay attention to this election this time around? It's always important, but this time around. This is why. Because for the first time in the history of America, there are more immigrants, illegal immigrants, coming in than Americans having children. You are losing your country. Again, why is this important? Not just because the Democratic Party wants to, wants to stay in power, but 169 known terrorists in the terrorist watch list. In September alone, 18 known terrorists came in. What about the ones that we don't know anything about? This is more serious than we're giving it credit to be. People are not mad enough. Not enough is being done about this. Not enough of you are paying attention. During this administration, 27,293 pounds of fentanyl came in. That is enough to kill 6 billion people. That's 19 times the amount of people in this country. It can wipe us out 19 times. That's how much fentanyl came in during this administration and still coming in. Again, we're just not mad enough. We're not doing enough. Texas Governor Rabbit up there, not trying to act like, oh, we're going to go ahead and defy the things that this administration is trying to do to Texas. Listen, it's too late. The fact is that they're trying to take over Texas. If they take over Texas, they take over America. You all need to know that. That's the whole idea. If they can take over Texas, and that is the word to use, conquer Texas, the Democratic Party will stay in power for a long time. That's the whole idea. Don't make no mistake about it. Again, I can only share my concern. I'm an immigrant. I came through the right way. My parents did also. A lot of these comments that I get on my channel say that I spread fear. Because the moment that you spread any concern, they attack you. They say that you're spreading fear. And we're not spreading fear. I'm trying to spread information and facts because not enough of us are involved. We need to get more involved. We need to spread this information more rapidly. What is an H-1B visa? It's a non-immigrant visa for employers to hire special skills people and stuff like that from other countries with high skills. Listen, 61% increase in H-1B visa applications in this administration, not even Obama. During this administration so far, 8.5 million encounters of illegal immigrants trending to half 12,900,000 during this administration of illegal immigration encounters. Guys, let's say that of that 12,900,000, only 4 million were Hispanics. Hispanics trend, they show to vote Democratic at a 65% rate. 65% of Hispanics vote, no matter what, Democratic. 65% of 4 million is 2,600,000. That is enough to take over Texas forever. And that's all they want to do. They want to take over Texas. If they take over Texas, they take over America. That's their plan. That's what the Democratic Party wants. They don't give a shit about any of us. They want power. So how the hell are we controlling any of this? What are we doing about that? Why is nobody's mad? You're losing your country. I don't get it. You're losing your freaking country. You know it's bad when you have those so-called sanctuary cities now just freaking out, calling out Texas. Oh, why are you selling not, you're sending us all those illegal immigrants? We can't handle it, we can't handle it. Ain't that amazing? Um, a few years ago when uh, I voted for President Trump, everybody wondered why I voted for that guy. How can I vote for that guy? He's anti-immigrant, he's anti-Hispanics, uh, anti-black, anti-everything. Where are they now? Most of them, I don't even have them on my friends anything because they know I was right. I was telling them, guys, you don't know what you're talking about. I come from those places. I've been to those places. You don't know who you're letting in. Listen, I came in also from another country, but I came in legal. As a matter of fact, we were denied a couple of times. My dad had to prove eventually that he could afford having three kids and his wife in this country. Eventually he did, he busted his ass, he made some money, 
he got himself a place, he was not living off the tit of the government, and he was able to ask for us a couple of times that denied us, but we ended up coming in, you know, they ended up approving that America will do that. America is a very, very giving country. Love America, but we're losing it. We're losing it and it's happening on purpose. The problem now is that there is not enough people that know history. This has been done before. It's been done in places where I come from. It's been done in places that I've been to. What else do you know? It's being taken from you. You're doing nothing about it. You're just sitting there, you know. And it's incredible because most of the hate that I get on these comments are from you white people. It's being taken from you. You got minorities like myself defending it because we don't want to lose it. We don't want it. You wouldn't want this to become where the hell we came from. We don't. So we are defending it more than you. You have no experience. You have no experience, you liberals, you libtards, you dumbass You have no experience with it. Go, go, go over there and stay over there for a little bit. See if you don't come running like the little piaches that you guys are. You're losing your country.